with it and, and the excitement of a win like that. Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, especially going into their end zone um, with the uh, with the student section all over there. I mean, it was so loud. Um, I think we did a great job. Um, didn't have any false starts. Um, didn't have to call any timeouts um, because of substitution or anything like that. I think we did a great job during the week um, repping, um, repping like crowd noise in the indoor, blaring, blaring music, and making sure that we communicated well. And, I mean, it helps whenever our defense is so suffocated and they can't really get any momentum on offense and keep the crowd out of it. Stetson, I got two questions for you. One, I got to ask, you know, considering you're just a floating head right now, it seems like you had a lot of success on the field. Just um, what allowed that, do you think? Yeah, I know this is kind of <laughs> tripping me out. Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, I think it was just the, just the head down and focus that we – the whole team had uh, this whole week. I mean, anytime you come over here and play this team, um, it's a – I mean, it's a, free, it's a war. Um, and I think our O-line, D-line, um, you know – yeah, I mean, we won, we won the um, uh, line of scrimmage battle, and um, it, it, was, it was so much fun. out of blast. So if I can follow up with a serious one, what was it like just watching the defense on the sideline? You know, Auburn got in the red zone, you know, two or three times the defense was, you know, able to, able to bow their necks each time. Just what's it like watching that from the sideline? Yeah, I mean, that's just – that's the resiliency that we've been talking about. Uh, we've got these four um, – you know, key culture things that we've been working on since, I don't know, maybe January. And uh, resiliency is one of them. You know, I mean, we defense got punched in the mouth a few times, but every single time in the red zone, um, they bowed their necks and uh, stopped them. And it was, it was awesome. Let's go to Anthony Dasher, followed by Gary Clegg. Hey, Stephen, congratulations. Uh, I wanted to ask you, um, you know, even though you were, today you were, you know, minus uh, uh, several more guys at wide receiver with injuries and everything, it still seemed like this offense uh, was able to kind of, I guess, continue that trajectory that Coach Smart talks uh, about a lot. And I just want to kind of see if I can get you to kind of address that kind of way your guys are offensive right now and how much better you think y'all can become once everybody gets back. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, we've got to we got to get those guys back. But I mean, I think I think it's it's a tribute to how this coaching staff recruits. I think it's a tribute to how. Um, you know, just how it's always just make next man up. I mean, the games don't stop. Stop if, if somebody's hurt. Doesn't matter who's hurt. Um, we still got to win this game. Um, and I think everybody bought into that. Uh, we knew there's there's some guys that are going to be out, and the guys who are in. Um, I mean, we didn't really miss a beat. Uh, we we kept things going the same way. And I mean, it was it was awesome. It was awesome to watch. Gary, you got anything? Let's go to Seth Emerson, followed by Lance McCurley. Um, Stetson, with the with the injuries going in and out at practice, like how much does that affect the game plan? Do you guys tend to know on Monday, Tuesday who you're going to have, who you're not going to have, and or, or do you get to like Thursday and Friday or even game day sometimes and kind of having to make things up on the fly? Um, no, I mean we pretty much knew. Um, you know, that's that's mainly the coaching staff's job, um, what they want to call and what they don't, uh, depending on who's in there. Uh, but, I mean, it didn't seem like it mattered to me. I mean, we called the, we called the same stuff that we would always call. And, you know, I mean, Lad, I mean, Lad freaking played a heck of a game. Um, they, uh, they brought the safety down on his touchdown. And, I mean, he stepped on his toes, took it deep, and I, I just let it fly and trusted him. Um, and – I don't, I don't think the game plan was really any different. Hey, Stetson, kind of talk about the play of your offensive line in this game and uh, how they will protect you and how, how big of this is a confidence booster heading forward uh, into next week's game? Um, yeah, I mean, they, especially at the end. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess at the beginning, they, it was, we, we threw the ball a little, with a little bit more success than, than we ran it, but then, uh, and they protected the heck out of me. I, I, I think I got hit on a rollout. Um, I got hit on an RPO, never got sacked. Uh, most of the drop back passes, I really didn't, didn't have, you know, any pressure. Um, and then once the second half came around and we started rolling on them, um, I mean, we just, we just leaned on them and they, they didn't, um, our O-line just, I mean, God, they're so strong, so tough and our backs are, are the best in the country. Time for two more questions. Let's go to Chip Towers and Mark Weiser. 
Stetson, I'm, I'm going to really try to get some emotion out of you, but you know, you can never, that's the great thing about sports. Nobody knows what's going to happen uh, at this point. Can, can you admit to yourself or to us? It's pretty cool how this thing has worked out and you're, uh, you know, being the quarterback of record and, and really playing your tail off right now. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, you know, I try to, I try to keep level. Um, it's never, in my opinion, it's never, uh, I leave all the, I'll get juiced up sometimes, but I'll leave that to, you know, Jordan, who's about to talk to y'all, uh, <laughs> kill somebody. Uh, I need to, I need to keep the level head and, you know, make sure we execute our offense, but, um, no, but it is, it is fun. Thank you. Hey, hey Stetson, and congratulations. I know I feel like you get a version of this on, on occasion. Obviously, you're Georgia's starting quarterback, I, I guess, until, you know, JT is healthy. I'm, I'm not sure, but, but trying to give you, are you trying to give them something to think about with, with the way you're playing? Or are you just about, you know, victory? I'm sorry. You didn't hear any of that? No, well, I, did, I, didn't, I didn't hear the, uh, the question. I was asking about, you know, knowing that you may or may not be starting next week or the week after, like, do you try to put a body of work out there that makes a tough decision or is it just about getting a victory every week? No, I just, I just uh, think everybody on this team, we just, uh, we try to, we try to win each game. All right, Stetson, thank you for your time. I appreciate